Good morning guys, it is our last day here in Kauai and we actually had <laughs> some debate as like what should we do? Should we just stay by the pool and just like relax or should we do one more thing? And because our flight is late at night, we decided okay, let's just do one more adventurous thing. That we But first, of course, we had to grab breakfast. So we went to this really cute cafe called Java Kia. And I swear it was like the cutest cafe and the best breakfast I've had in Kauai. I got a bagel, a smart got a chicken salad wrap. But I'll talk to you a little bit about my bagel because it was so, so, so good. It was basically cream cheese, pesto, tomatoes, feta cheese. It was like the best combo of everything. And it was supposed to have sprouts and they just ran out of sprouts that day but I swear if it had sprouts it's like the perfect sandwich it's like perfect so we came to this Hawaiian village it's called Kimokali Hawaiian village um, it is near oh, I love the rooster sound it is near the East Shore it's basically a village it has a, there's a few things you can do one is you can visit like an imitation of what the village looked like back in the day but the thing that we're doing today is we rented a canoe and we're gonna ride the canoe to a trailhead and the trailhead is gonna take us to a waterfall that we can swim in so it's super exciting i have never been on a canoe or a kayak before so this is definitely new for me so i'm very excited that we're able to squeeze this in on our last day so let's see the road to coming here is really bumpy so we had to drive like really slow and kind of like park on the side of the road if another car is trying to leave um, the fees are pretty reasonable they have a lot all the information on their website i'll leave it for you in the description box below and they don't take reservations so you just have to come and see if there is a spot or if they have a canoe we were about 15 minutes out so i gave them a call and they said yeah they have one so we came and yeah so we're doing it it's so cool! Look at the surrounding, it's so nice! Eee. Work it baby, work it! Uh, I'm just gonna relax while he does all the work. We just got done with the canoeing part of it and we parked it like over here i would say it was less than 15 minutes and the water is so calm it was so easy perfect for beginners like i don't know what i was worried about it was really perfect now we have to do a 30 to 45 minute hike to the waterfall it's supposed to be a mile and a quarter but we decided to bring the life jackets that came with the kayak because if the water and the waterfall like the swim area of the waterfall if it's too deep i don't want to be intimidated by how deep it is i actually want to swim and enjoy it so we decided to bring the vests the other thing i should tell you they also have stand-up boards which you can stand on and paddle or sit down that's up to you and then they also give you a wet bag so you can put all your stuff in a wet bag in case like the canoe or the kayak tips over and we only used the wet bag inside the canoeing part and we ended up taking out our backpack for the hike because the wet bag doesn't have a strap to carry on your shoulder and the backpack is much more comfortable for that so that's what we did we're just basically walking along the river and there's gonna be a point where we have to cross this river so i'm excited about that
jungle, the mighty jungle. Literally, you guys, it feels like a jungle. Look at this. I can barely see the sky. It's so cool. Such a cool hike. And this is beyond breathtaking. Oh my god, this waterfall. I just want to keep looking up and then look at the sky. I can actually feel mist from the waterfall on my skin. It's just it's so refreshing and it's really beautiful. Look at this. It's huge. Oh my god. So apparently people are able to stand in here, so it's not deep at all. So I will take off the life jacket and just dive in there. lunch or snack because it's so beautiful and magical here it's definitely a great like picnic spot not that you're gonna need the food like honestly we had a good breakfast and we don't feel like starving or anything we're not even hungry i think we're not ready for lunch but what i'm saying is it's a really cool place to hang out for a couple of hours if you rent the canoe for like an all-day rental so why not stay here and have your lunch in this beautiful scenery but we didn't do that unfortunately and i want to tell you like when we came there was a group ahead of us and that group left while we were still here and for like a few minutes we had the entire waterfall to ourselves which was so dreamy and then in the exact moment a bunch of leaves started falling from the trees it felt like snow in the summer it was so cool it's just it's such a dreamy place we are done with the canoe ride and i can't tell you how amazing that was i know i keep saying that because i loved it it was so relaxing and now we're just gonna walk around just a little bit to explore the village here um, let me see what I find. So this is a path. Birth house. Oh, that's where babies were born. Wow. Oh, that's where the baby fell. I'm assuming the mommy would lay here with her legs open and boom, the baby made. Mars kind of thing. Yeah. He probably wants to make some naan and kebabs in here. Yeah, they probably grilled fish. Yeah. This is the oven. Man 
Ben's eating house. Is that the menu? Yeah. Oh, that's the... what they ate. Including dog. Dog? Yeah. Oh. I'm assuming this was like the dining table or where they had to eat. There's another one on this side. Doctor's house. Well, these are some of the tools I'm assuming that were used. Besides the history that it displays, it's just a really nice place to walk around. Like there's, there's a path that you can follow and the trees and the sky and the sun. It's just a really peaceful place to be, if you ask me. Oh my god, I see a peacock. Do you see this peacock? Look at this. Hi! Only if he's interested in you, then yeah. Hi, peacock! Man, so beautiful. It is time to say goodbye to this beautiful garden island. I absolutely loved it and Asmar did too. It was such a great time away from the kids and we had such a good time here. Um, it's just at like an hour before we have to leave for our flight. So I wanted to make this video as the ending video. I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and let me know your favorite parts in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll say bye for now and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.